Jay Garrick was just your average footballer and college student when suddenly, when he was at work in the lab one day, he passed out due to the hard water vapors that had gone into the air. And when he awoke, he found himself the ability to vibrate his body very fast and to run at high speeds. And that is the synopsis for the Golden Age Flash. So The Flash debuted in his self-titled comic, Flash Comics in 1940. Um, in that very same issue, uh, he debuted alongside Hawkman, but that's another Golden Age video. Now, Golden Age Flash, as I explained, he gets his powers from hard water vapors. Um, they eventually retweak these in, you know, in the future to try and make a little bit more sense of it, but that's how he can do the things he does. This, I like to say that if I was a kid in the 1940s and I wanted to go to the comic book store, and just, you know, I had enough money to read something, I would definitely choose The Flash. Like, The Flash in these stories is so, like, cool. I can, even in an older perspective, like, I'm in my 20s now, and when I go back and I read all this stuff that's from the 1940s, I'm just like, wow, these ideas are really creative. And it's just a whole bunch of fun reading them. And, like, yes, he, Jay is one of those, uh, superheroes that doesn't have a mask and so in order to keep his identity secret he has to run really fast and he uses the shadow of his helmet and you know he vibrates his molecules so nobody can see him so you know his identity <laughs> it's one of those things where you have to suspend your disbelief and just like oh okay so nobody ever sees him because he's doing one of those things apart from that these are case by case stories and they once again as was the fashion at the time they don't really link into anything bigger and you do get a couple of recurring villains that come back in, but for the most part, it's just like, oh, he's going to take out these rackets. It's a racket! Now, one of my favourite things from The Flash that gets thrown around a lot is how they constantly try to explain how he can throw people through walls and not hurt them. And they always use, like, uh, the example of, much like a straw gets thrown through a tree in a hurricane and the straw is unbent. I just love it. You're going to see and read that quite a lot if you go through any of the Golden Age Flash stuff, so just be prepared for that sort of um, little bit of comedy, I guess. I mean, I personally find that funny and humorous, but uh, I know a lot of people that I've lent this to that say it gets repetitive and annoying, and I can understand that too. So when you start reading the Golden Age Flash, try not to take it too seriously, and you'll end up having a whole bunch more fun that way. Uh, I find myself that, yeah, the Flash is definitely one of my favorite Golden Age heroes. And the more I think about it, Jay Garrick is probably my favourite Flash overall because of these uh, Golden Age archives. If I had to give them a rating of any kind, once again, this would be a... It's not a review, but uh, my personal sort of rating from myself is like a 9 out of 10 because this is the kind of hero that I would love to have read if I was in, around that time. And even now, I can still go back and read these archives and my favourite Flash story from the Golden Age of all time is the Spider-Man of Mars, where, well, you'll just have to read that to find out, but it's really good. So, anyway, that's um, everything I have to say about the Golden Age Flash. Until next time, catch you later.